In this video, we are going to study a method variable bias with wall testing Python using Jupyter Notebooks. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, this is an educational video only and no professional advice is included within it. Okay, so let's go into the web browser where the Jupyter Notebook is located. So the first step within the Jupyter Notebook is that we need to add a new cell below. To add the new cell, we click on the Insert Cell Below button. And regarding the code, the first step is we need to import the corresponding packages. Therefore, we're going to comment this as Step 1, Packages. And for this, we're going to import statsmodels.api as SM. We're importing that feature from statsmodels for data downloading. Then we're going to import statsmodels.formula.api as SMF. We're importing that feature from statsmodels for multiple linear regression calculation and for wall test. To run these two code lines or this cell, we can either click run or shift enter on the keyboard, which is equivalent. Then we continue with step number two, which is data. For this, we're going to create an object named house prices underscore object, which is equal to SM feature from stats models dot datasets dot get underscore R dataset. And we open parentheses. The first parameter, which is data name, equals to, and within quotations, house prices, comma, package, equals to, and within quotations, AER, comma, cash, equals to true. So what we're doing here is we're downloading house prices object from our package AER, and with cash equals to true means that we download the data and save it locally, so we don't need to go and download it again every time we run the code. Notice that this will download data and the documentation within house prices object. Therefore, we continue with the following code line, which we create a new object named house prices, only with the data, therefore equals to house prices underscore object, and we get its dot data attribute. So now we want to visualize part of this data. To do so, we use print and we include within it house prices object, the one that only includes the data, dot ILOC, meaning integer location, and we open brackets. Semicolon, so we select all the rows, comma, from columns zero to four with Python notation, that's the first four columns of data, and we get its head method for the data frame. Again, to run these code lines, we either click run or directly shift enter on the keyboard. And there we have part of the data. We can visualize the first five rows of the first four columns of data, of price, lot size, bedrooms, and bathrooms. The reason why we only focus on this data is because within this video, we're going to fit an original multiple regression in which we have price as a dependent or explained variable, which is explained by the independent or explanatory variables of lot size and bedrooms. And then we are going to add bathrooms as a new independent or explanatory variable. And we're going to test whether it was correctly or incorrectly omitted with walled test. If you want to read the full documentation on this data, you can do so with the following code line, which is print and within parentheses we have house prices underscore object we get its dot two underscores doc to two underscores attribute and in this case it's just a single code line we press shift and turn the keyboard and there you have the full documentation on data then we continue with step number three which is the model for this, we're going to create an object, which is going to be named MLR, which stands for multiple linear regression, equals to SMF feature from statsmodels.ols, which stands for ordinary least squares function. And within parentheses, we have the following parameters. The first of this, which is formula, equals to, and within quotations, we have the following string, which is price. And with this special character means explained by lot size plus bedrooms, and for the second regression to perform wall test, we're going to add as independent or explanatory variable plus B. 
bathrooms. So, as mentioned previously, we're going to test whether bathrooms was correctly or incorrectly omitted. Comma. Data equals to the house prices object we created above, the one which only includes the data, and dot fit open and close parentheses so that we fit the regression. In this case, again, we press shift enter on the keyboard to run the code line. And then we have the following step, which is step number four, and this is going to be the omitted variable. And for this, we're going to create a new object, which is going to be named world test equals to, and from the MLR object, the one we just created above, we are going to use its world underscore test function, and we open parentheses, and we have the following parameters. Our underscore matrix, with the corresponding wall test hypothesis therefore equals to and within quotations as a string bathrooms equal to zero comma use underscore f equals to true so as mentioned previously what we're doing here is the following we have an original multiple linear regression in which we have price being explained by lot size and bedrooms and then we have a second regression, which is going to be price being explained by lot size, bedrooms, and bathrooms. Therefore, we want to test the omitted variable for bathrooms. That's what we have here, bathrooms equals to zero. And with use f equals to true means that we're going to perform an f test. This f test is the joint null hypothesis that omitted variables coefficients are equal to zero. In this case, we're only including one omitted variable, bathrooms. Therefore, it's a hypothesis of one coefficient. Notice that omitted variables model, the one we specified above, and the use f equals to true parameter were only included for educational purposes and they can be modified according to your needs. So once we do the calculation of wall test, we want to print its results. So we use print function again and within it we have wall test object. So let's go ahead and run this code lines by pressing shift and turn the keyboard and there we have the results being printed for the test. We have the wall test F statistic right here, degrees of freedom and the p-value. So this wall F test p-value has the null hypothesis that bathrooms omitted variable coefficient equals to zero as specified right here as a parameter within that function. And if rejected, variable was incorrectly omitted. If not rejected, variable was correctly omitted. Notice again that test can include different omitted variables model, the one we specified above, and different probability distribution, the other included within wall test function. And both of these were only included as educational examples, which can be modified according to your needs. Okay, so with this we finish with the code, so we go ahead and save the file. And with this, we finish with this video. Thank you for watching.